What's going on beautiful people? Welcome to the 13's Garage. Today, we're gonna be working on this 1995 Ford F-150 with the five liter, four x four, obviously. And we're gonna be redoing the automatic four x four front hubs. Uh, if you have not done so already, hit the subscribe button. That helps us out a lot. All right, first thing you need is a T25. We're gonna remove these bolts. notice that this has a slip ring in here and sometimes it's kind of difficult to find the ending of it let me see if I can't get a flashlight in here to kind of show you what I'm talking about so right there you can see where the you might not be able to but you can see how there's here hold the flash right here you can see how there's like the spacing right here, sorry, let me fix the camera, right here. And that part right there, that's your little ring. You need to snap, get that little snap ring out of there. It can be a little bit challenging, but get yourself a little, a good pick set. You can do a lot of work with a good pick set. There it goes. All right, now just a little bit of a, tussle but once you get it going it comes out fairly easily just slowly work your way all the way around back a little bit all the way around and there goes your first snap ring put that aside somewhere safe and pull out your assembly now pull the camera back Now you don't need to clean it with brake clean like I just did, but for viewing purposes, I wanna make sure that I can show you all the parts. You can see right in here, that yellow snap ring. It's a half ring, which is confusing until you see me pull it out. Again, you just wanna go in here with your pick. And these ones come out, they're kind of in there a little bit tighter, but they're a lot easier to get grip on. So there's your half ring. These things always fight me a little bit. These rings need to be lined up, but they're always just a little bit too small to pull off. Oh, that one came off much easier. So that's your first ring. All right, and this is your steel ring. And then behind it, You'll have this kind of, behind it is this kind of a plastic uh, uh, felt kind of feeling ring. That's just for, so it can get grip. And then behind it is this nice, I don't know if that's, it feels aluminum, but it might be steel. The very skinny steel one. So when you're reassembling your rings, you go, the aluminum one first, your plastic one, and then the one with the teeth grooves. And you would push that one all the way back, and that's your full assembly right there. Now, for this assembly, you just want to reach in here, grab it with your pick. It'll come out pretty easily. Sometimes you might need to move these around to realign them so it comes out easily. I had to do that with the other side, but this one came out pretty cleanly. So hopefully, hopefully here's those two. All right. All right. Now, 
you look down inside of here, I'm actually gonna hit it with some spray again. You can see this ring right here and how it matches up with this indentation right here because it actually has a long leg on it that goes in there and holds kind of like a pin and holds it together so you can see this kind of funky shape and when you put it back in it needs to line back up with that groove There's another pin in here somewhere. Where is that at? Oh, okay. Never mind. I found it. All right. Oh, shine over here. After you've removed this pin, you go ahead and get your pick, and you see all these little holes. You can actually just put your pick inside of one of them and rotate this collar loose. There you go. Once you get it loose, you should go just reach in there and do it with your hand. Here is the front wheel bearing. And then you're good to go and uh, removing your rotor.